How to use the Logic Pro X pedal boards in Logic Pro X. If you're a guitar player, maybe you've had like a pedal board before at your feet on stage. We can do the same thing in Logic with um, our guitar recordings and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. This is a track I've been working on and I have some guitars down here. And what I'll do is to start a guitar track from scratch. We will take some raw recordings as audio and then play with those effects, add some pedals to our pedal board, and then save the pedal board as a preset so that we can use later on. So let's go ahead and add a new audio track at the top by new audio track. And I'm gonna drag this up to the top so you can see it. And I'm going to name it um, electric guitar and give it a nice icon. Okay, so I'm going to drag a piece of guitar audio that I had from my earlier track, which is this one. I'm gonna drag it up here by holding command and clicking. Now I can solo this to hear what it sounds like. Okay, so that's enough to get the vibe. And on this electric guitar um, track, we have no plugins other than our master chain. I just have some plugins there because I'm doing some mastering right now on this track. So let's just take in consideration the track plugins and let's start from scratch. So I'll remove these plugins. Typically, when you have a guitar track, um, you maybe have some paid plugins that you like to use, like the Guitar Rig by Native Instruments. That's a very popular one and one I would recommend if you're looking to pay for plugins. Uh, we can use all the free stock Logic plugins and uh, Logic amps to get a guitar sound that we're looking for. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's first start by putting this audio track, our guitar, through an amp. So we will go to Amps and Amp Designer and then just run it through any old amp right now. The factory default is fine for our purposes. But to give you a better idea, you can go through and get any of these amps through tons of different presets so you can spend a lot of time in there choosing amps and then obviously some some mic placements on the amps and different um, cabs and combos that you can do with models so let's close that down we don't want to get too into that we want to focus on the pedal board so after we have our guitar running through our amp we will go down to amps and pedals and then to our pedal board so this is our focus here it's as simple as clicking double clicking on pedals and then we can click and press delete on our keyboard to delete it. And we would start the pedal chain with what other pedals we want. Uh, so let's say we do want some crunch. So I'll look for like crunch grit pedal. And then I want some chorus. And then um, let's say some added delay on that. So that could be a nice chain. So once I have this chain set up, I can just press play on my audio track and see what that sounds like. So lot, lots of crunch and I would go through and play with the dials if I don't like that delay I delete it and maybe I'll add another type of delay in there and go through in that type of workflow, bringing pedals in, then deleting them, tweaking them. Another workflow you can use with pedal boards are using the preset or defaults that Logic gives you. And so all the pedals on the side here are also available by category here. So if we just want distortion, here are our distortion pedals. So um, the fine grind distortion, we can start there and we can go left and right going through the distortion pedals or going back to our categories here and filtering through overdrive, compression, delay, reverb, as, as so. The other um, workflow is to go to the complete pedal boards here, where if you're looking for classic country pedal board, this is a typical of what Logic says is a classic country pedal board. And maybe we realize we don't want this compression, so we would click on it and delete it. Keep in mind also when you're adding pedals, the chain of the the pedal is left to right if we have this echo at the beginning that means the signal is getting um, echo first and then fuzz and then this um, drive and then this tremotone sometimes your sound can sound different if you have 
different petals in different orders. If at any time you want to clear out and go back to the default, we can go to the drop down and now recall default. A couple other things I want to mention with pedal boards are sometimes if you have a lot of pedals on your pedal board, you can do some rewiring. So even though the chain is left to right most of the time, um, you can do some re rerouting of your pedals. So certain pedals don't affect other pedals. So what I mean by that, if we load up a preset, let's do tube vibe. And this little space here, if I click on it, um, so if I go move away, it shades in. And if I hover over this space, it gives me some options. If I click on those options, it removes it from that path. And so you can see here, um, and I believe I can bring up a mixer. So I can mix between a uh, path A and B. Another couple of valuable filters are this show all section, which give you the categorization here where you can quickly look at the pedals in distortion. And then we have import mode. So if you have um, pedals from somewhere else on your, um, yeah, your computer, you go in here and you can put them in these different banks uh, or fold computer folders. Now let's say I've gone through the workflow and I've really found out that I really like this combo. It's giving me lots of dirt. Let's say it really fits the vibe of the song and I want actually to use this as my kind of blank default pedal board for all my future projects. And also, um, side note with all this, you can use this, um, I believe you can connect this to Logic Main Stage, so you, you can actually run this through your computer to play live too if you don't actually have the physical pedal boards. But what we will do is save it as a preset. So we go down here to um, Save As, and this will open up a similar folder to Import Mode, but it will, it will the path will be Plugin Settings to pet the pedal board. And then you call it your, you know, my pedal board or, or wherever you want. And let's just kind of see what that looks like, my pedal board. And now we can close down pedal board and open up like this guitar track down here. If we want, if we say we want this guitar track to run the pedal board, we run, open a pedal board stereo, and then click on my pedal board down here, and then we have our pedal board. So that's presets and the value of presets are really helpful. And you can do that across all types of plugins. I hope you are an expert now at pedal boards in Logic Pro X. Let me know if you have any comments below. I answer all of the comments. Please feel free to subscribe. Check out some of my own music. I'm curious to hear what you think and hope to see you in the next video.